Hey guys, it's Gun Runner 7271. A few minutes ago, I just heard a breaking news story about a school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, where at least 26 people have been uh, killed by a gunman. I don't know many details. They didn't have many details. I was still putting things together. You know, as a pro-gun advocate, class 2 manufacturer, class 3 firearms, and, uh, you know, a gunsmith, I'm deeply sad by events like this. It puts a black eye on anyone, all, any and all gun owners. But, more importantly, I have to go back and say, it's not the gun that killed someone. It's the gun. It's the person behind the gun. And if he didn't use a gun, it would be, you know, the same thing the kids at Columbine did, where they had um, LP gas tanks full of black powder and nails. It would be some other way to not use a gun but kill a lot of people. I have to be steadfast in that thought. My hope is that one day we'll start looking at the people rather than the tool that they use to kill other people. My prayers go out to the families. I feel your pain. I have a 7 year old and a 12 year old and my thought was as soon as I heard it I had chill bumps and I immediately called Prepper RN to say where are our kids and are they safe. You know, <clears throat> when you put it in that perspective, you have to ask yourself what can we do to hopefully prevent this in the future. I don't know that we can protect our kids completely. There's, there are too many areas where the kids gather at schools thinking that they are in a safe place. Short of having officers on duty at our schools, I'm not sure what could prevent these cowardly acts. I don't care how pissed off you are at what's going on in school with your kid. That's an, a cowardly act to have 18 kids dead because you unloaded a, a firearm on them. That is truly cowardly. What is the justification of shooting an innocent chill, child while they're at school? I, I don't know. That's truly the devil's work. Um... I'm not sure whether the gunman lived, died, killed himself, law enforcement killed him. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure of any details yet. But I, I wanted to put my feelings and my uh, disdain on video for people to see because I'm an advocate. I'm a gun advocate. I'm an NRA member, and uh, I believe the only way gun owners are going to keep their guns with the midst of all the political crap going on about now. I think the only way we're going to keep our guns is to be steadfast and insist on guns are merely a tool and if it weren't for a gun they'd use something else. When human beings set out to kill other human beings, especially on a mass terms like we have here. Um, you know, human beings, you're usually pretty successful at getting that task done because they use the most cowardly means to get that task done. Um, there's nothing on God's green earth that can possess a 
a, a sane person to to kill a child, um, you know, to kill a child in cold blood. You know, I, I just I don't understand it. It's hard to get your head around as a parent. It scares me to death. I'm going to call my school, my child's school, and say, what are you doing to protect my child? Not that I'm hostile towards them. I want to know what they're doing to protect my child. I think all of us owe it to our children to ask their school system, what are they doing to prevent a similar event from happening? Certainly there are times when your child is vulnerable, getting on and off the bus, out on the playgrounds, and any coward could walk up and spray a playground or a bus loading or unloading area. You know, um, I'm not sure what the details of this side is, but uh, as time goes, we'll get into it. Just want to bring everybody's attention to a, another cowardly gun act and these are starting to become way too common I'm, I'm thinking that our schools ought to have brick walls and barbed wire fences and look a lot like penal facilities not to keep people in but to keep people out um, yet another senseless killing of innocent innocent children I'm, I'm beside myself, and as a gun owner, it really, it really chaps me that this guy would use a gun to shoot up a bunch of people. Because that leads into, let's outlaw all the guns. Let's outlaw high-capacity magazines. And we don't need the negative publicity about that particular thing, especially at this moment. Um, in the days and weeks to come, you're going to hear a lot about the gun ban. I won't even get into that in this video because it would disgrace the memories of all the children and other people that got killed today. I will say that my thoughts and prayers are definitely on those people and their families. So, this is Gunrunner7271, hoping that your children are safe and out of harm's way. God bless you all.